Yo, yo, we are back in our FX. And in today's video, I'll be going over my favorite FX available on the Sapphire plugin. If you don't already know, there's a really popular plugin out there called Sapphire. And it got a crazy amount of FX in there. So in this video, I'll just go through the favorites one and which are the most useful one. So you don't have to mess around with everything and you'll save a lot of time, you know. The last part I did on this, y'all guys really liked it. So this is actually the part two. So let's just jump into the video. You can see I have a bunch of these clips right here which we are gonna try the effect on so let's just start off so let's just open our fx and presets and go down below and open up this sapphire as you can see these are all the effects like you're gonna open up all these like folder and these are all the effects that you get on sapphire and as i already said if you go through all of these it will take crazy amount of time because you can see there's a lot of effect in here so let's just go one by one one of my favorite ones in here so firstly to add my first effect i'm gonna make an adjustment layer on top of these two clips and show you right here so after you create your adjustment layer the first effect i want to go through is the sapphire grunge this is really good at offer effect right here uh it is pretty underrated as well so what it basically does is it's just like a apply these like grunge effects right here as you can see but you can animate it all and make it look super dope like we got a lot of controls in here the best thing about this is you can like uh you can actually control the grunge tracks textures so i always like to go with something like clouds uh clouds basically add these like clouds in here and let's just set this to cloud as well and these can be really useful to create these type of like cloudy and like really muddy type of transition i use use it a lot in my music videos and you can actually change the color of everything so i can set it to something like so let's just set it to something like white in here as well with something like blue and i actually also made a full-on transition and i also made a tutorial on it using the sapphire grunge effect which turned out really cool so i'll link it in the icard or in the description you can check it out that video if you want to create a transition using this effect but in this video we are just like overviewing and you can see instantly we have this really cool like cloudy type of effect and with this you can easily create a transition or even bring up the size and yeah you can see really really super dope as you can see it will create this type of transition if you like use it right so yeah if you want to uh, watch a in-depth tutorial on this like on this single effect i'll link it in the icard or the description as i said but now moving on my another effect will be sapphire warp waves right here what this effect does it's basically like these wave type of distortion like a better version of the wave warp we have on after effects so if you don't already know we got this effect called wave warp in after effects in sapphire it's called warp waves and it is basically a better version of that and similarly the possibilities are endless with this one as well so you can create some really dope transition using the amplitude and the frequency value so let me just show you what i mean by that real quick so let's just animate both of these values right here maybe set it to something like 300 and let's just decrease the frequency as it goes then if we easy ease both of these go into the graph and make a graph something like this in the value graph and then go over to the frequency easy ease those as well and go into to the graph and make a graph like this in here now if i play that through you can see we already have this crazy liquid type of transition going on as you can see we literally made that on two minutes and it looks really dope of course it's not perfect you can go ahead and tweak it and add more effect into it like adding something like a optic compensation in here would look really hard so if i animate like optic compensation with it it will surely look hard so let's just do that real quick and playing that through after the optic compensation you can see we got this really cool warp effect already going on so as i said the possibilities are endless using this preset i have a whole preset pack made if you are lazy you can literally download the preset pack in the description and you'll get all the keyframes all the source so in here in v1 in essential fx v1 i actually got a really cool transition using that effect right there if i show you you can see this is a wave like using the sapphire wave you can see we get 
get this really cool transition right here and actually in v2 we got a lot of distorted in here using all those effects that i showed you so yeah if you are lazy and want to automate the process and don't want to keyframe yourself you can take essential effects v1 and the v2 down below comes with 80 plus pieces super dope value so you'll save a lot of time while editing and get more clients and make more money you know the drill so yeah i'll link it in the description but back to the video after the wave warp the second warp effect will be on the list will be sapphire warp vortex right here if you don't already know this is like a vortex like a better version of the effect that we have on after effects it's called 12 12 or something like that you can see it creates effects like this but in sapphire it's on a whole nother level and looks really crazy using this effect i also have a tutorial where i use rotoscope and a sapphire vortex to create some insane visuals so i'll link it down below if you want to check it out as well but basically what it does is just like a vortex effect you can call and and if you easy those or add a graph like this you can see it creates effect like these and if you actually put the effort to rotoscope your subject right here it will look really dope so yeah this definitely belongs to the list because this has been really popular effect from a while now moving on for our next effect we actually need a black solid so let's just make a black solid right here and trim the black solid right here and in this black solid what we want to add is sapphire bouquet lights uh bouquet lights right here it is basically like this like this lens flare type of lights but you can use this to create some insane laser effect so let me show you how to do it right now i'm gonna bring up the brightness in the cart like it is like a transition so in the cart i'll bring up the brightness and bring up the size as well and then we're gonna go over to real height and lower this down so it turns into these like beams right here and you can turn that down more if you like so it basically turns into this laser effect as i called and you can just bring it up set the color to something like red like a red laser flying through type shit so yeah something like this and scrolling down we're gonna go over to speed x right here shift speed x and bring that up and what it'll do is make it move like that you can bring it bring that up more and you'll get this crazy laser beam effect as you can see you can bring up the size a little bit more if you like something right there and now we actually gonna animate the brightness of this to create the transition so 0 to 4 and 4 to 0 right here now you have played through you can see we have this animation going on then toggle switch in the modes and set the blending mode to something like linear dodge and lastly you can add it up with something like a glow right here and now if you play it through you can see we really get this really dope like a laser transition you can basically call looks really dope you can even like mix it with something like a something like a wiggle with this would look really hard so for that let's just add an adjustment in the top and for the wiggle i'm gonna quickly use my essential fx v2 right here uh, v1 actually the awesome best wiggle with that single click you can see we already have this crazy wiggle effect so that's why i think like essential fx is good at like you're gonna add these type of effects in single click but with that laser effect in there looks super super dope so yeah this is a unique way to use bokeh lights this method was actually suggested by my bro spooky so big shout out to him and it looks completely insane as you can see so yeah that's it with the bokeh lights now let's just move on to our another effect another in the list is sapphire rays this is a really really popular effect if you don't already know like this effect looks really cool on text layer so if i make a text layer right here and add sapphire rays in here and bring out the value you can see it looks really dope like it is really really popular effect i'm guessing most of you guys know about this but if you don't know i just put it on some sauce right here as you can see looks really dope like it's self-explanatory like there's nothing much you can do with it but you can like play around and create some really dope visuals with this one as well i don't think so there's anything to go in depth and raise but you can combine it with something like sapphire glint and lower down the amount you can see it creates these type of like star glow type of effect really dope for text as i said and you can control every single like rays so you can make the horizontal rays big if you want you can lower down the sizes of other rays and stuff and looks really cool so yeah another really crazy effect from sapphire so i really recommend checking this out as well now these two done let's just move on to our another effect 
effect in the list which will be distort chroma this is also a really popular one so if i add like software distort chroma this is actually one of the goated effect it allows you to create this type of crazy distort as you can see and exactly like some other effect you can animate it to get some crazy results for example if you go into my essential effects and transition v2 i got a lot of these like chroma transition in here looks really dope so yeah you can check this out as you can see all i did on these effects is just like animate the distort chroma and get this like crazy results so yeah possibilities are endless with this effect so let me show you more like it is truly goated and matter of fact i also got a lot of tutorial on my channel about sapphire distort chroma so yeah you can check that out on my channel just like go to my channel and open some distort tutorial and probably be in there now moving on quickly on to our another effect will be sapphire hotspot this is also pretty self-explanatory it creates this type of like dry like dark effect so basically you can animate it to create some like smooth dark transition so if i animate this right here threshold you can see easily we get this like threshold transition right here this been really popular in the scene from a while and looks super super smooth as you can see there's not much to do about it so let's just move on to our another effect without wasting any more time uh another in the list is sapphire sapphire what is called sapphire half tone right here if you don't know half tone are these type of like effect that you probably saw on spider voice what's called what is called like the movie spider search it up real quick like spider voice yeah this movie right here it this effect was used a lot in this movie and it replicates the same effect right here like this like half tone type of look and this is actually the black and white edition of the half tone they also got a color one so if i add sapphire half tone colors with this you can really get that like spider voice type of look as you can see looks really dope i got a really dope tutorial using this i made a roto effect using it so it looks completely fire so i'll link it in the description or in the i card again now moving on we have the sapphire damage auditions so if you search up like damage right here we got a lot of damage from sapphire we got digital damage which are like these type of glitchy type of effect if we actually apply this onto the clip it will look crazy so you can see basically like glitches and stuff you can animate all of these intensity and values to create some glitch transition using this like effect and next in the damage we got flim damage flim damage is basically like those 8 mm type of look like those 90s type of look as you can see like has those hairs and dust in there as the old flim so yeah it is really dope you can like play with the flicker and stuff and make some crazy effect it even has these like roll like i don't know what they call it but like these type of rules that they used to have on like those eight millimeter or even like older cameras so yeah it is also pretty dope now moving on to another damage right here so if i search up damage next we got the jpeg damage one of the best effect from sapphire hands down like this allows you to get what do you call it like low quality like it will make any footage low quality and this is really useful when you are like editing something like an underground music video something like in the two hall list or even like net spend vibe in there or even like fake mink you can really like replicate the exact effect using the sapphire damage right here jpeg damage hands down one of the best effect from sapphire now moving on lastly in the damage audition we got tv damage it is really really overused actually in the 2020 era like it got super saturated i don't really recommend using this effect because your clients would probably don't like it but there's some ways to like use it on the correct method and get a good look going on in there it will be completely fine but please i'm requesting you don't leave it on the default values your client will really hate it like probably will really hate it so yeah i guess that's the last effect in the list yeah looking at the list we are done with all the effect for today and hope you guys like this video like it was a really quick rundown of my favorite effect i didn't go in depth i linked other videos because i don't want this to like be an in-depth tutorial i'm just letting you know the effect and the basics of it so you can just like grab onto it and create your own shit if that makes sense so yeah i hope from this series you found out some new sapphire effect if you did please hit the like button also subscribe to the channel and if you want to take essential effects out completely goated saves a lot
lot of time i'll link it in the description but i'm gonna see you on the next one peace